So it definitely understeers. Can try to get a little more steering out of it by using the throttle. It doesn't do too bad at sweeping corners and stuff. <laughs> it's a little squirrely. So if you give it throttle on the up ramp, it does pretty good. It doesn't nose dive. If you don't give it throttle, like typically I would come up to a ramp and when I hit the up ramp, I would kind of just let off the throttle. But this buggy, you can't do that. It will nose dive. So I'm gonna peg it on the, whoop, that time, a little different. I'm getting a little more comfortable with it, trying to figure out it's a little... It doesn't like to turn tightly, but it does pretty good at sweeping turns. All right? It does pretty decent at sweeping turns. You gotta make sure you have the throttle on a bit when you hit that small jump there. This is a dune buggy and uh, we need to see how it does climbing, right? <laughs> All right, this is almost straight up and down. That was actually a lot of fun. Let's try that again. That's what the dune buggies are doing around here.
Short grass does good. Long grass. <laughs> it does fine in the long grass, too. I think because that front bumper just kind of lays the grass over. Watch it. You can hear that, that grass just slapping the front of the buggy. Easy. I don't know what I expected. So my final thoughts on the Kyosho Scorpion are basically that it's just, it's such an awesome looking buggy. And again, that's why I bought it. I didn't buy it for performance. As a matter of fact, I wasn't even going to stick a motor in it. I know I was just going to leave it on the shelf, but I thought, ah, you know, I need to put a motor in this and just see how it does. And I'm glad I did. And here's why. I probably won't be taking this to the track. I probably won't be trying to race this with other buggies on the track. I cringe every time it, you know, rolls or doesn't land just right because it's such a good looking buggy. But what I had most fun with actually are doing some little hill climbs because that's really what dune buggies are all about. Well, I mean, other than the ones that are in the sand dunes around here, I guess they're called more trail buggies. Um, that's, that's what they're about. They go in the woods and they try to climb just hills and obstacles that you wouldn't normally think a buggy could climb. And it did really well. Basically, if you have the momentum, you can get this thing up and over. This front bumper did a great job when it would come up and go just about to a straight up. This bumper actually kicked the front up and it, and it rode nice and uh, rode the hillside nice, I should say. So yeah, it did a good job. And there is quite a bit of weight though. This, this buggy's pretty heavy. And the balancing point, I would say is right about, yeah, it, it's right in here. It's right at the end of this battery door. So that's like the balancing point. And it, it, I mean, there's still plenty of weight. This is all aluminum on this thing. So it's got, it's got weight where it can handle its own going up a hill. Now there are some instances where it flipped over backwards when I tried to go slow. But when I had a little bit of momentum, this thing would just kick. And then when you got on the hill, you kind of let off a little bit and then goosed it again toward the top. And man, it was a blast. It's a blast to see the dirt fly off the top of the hill as it was making it. it, it that was, to me, that was the most fun. I did, uh, unfortunately, I didn't get any footage of it, but there were those three jumps at the end of the track that I pretty much avoided. But uh, toward the end, I was just kind of messing around and I was able to hit the double and it actually hit it pretty nicely. I didn't even think it was going to, to be honest with you, but it did. So this thing performs really well. It goes through grass really nicely. The tall grass, I just thought was was funny because um, it's it's like little pieces of straw. It's not, maybe it's Johnson grass or something like that, but it, it's it was hard, like round stalks. And you could hear it beating against the front bumper and as it went along the, the tall grass it's like it laid it over this front bumper was almost like a plow and it would just lay over the grass so it did really well and this is a durable bumper i did land you know uh nose dive a few times and it just kind of flipped over on itself and for the most part landed on its wheels it was once or twice it didn't but yeah overall it, it's a pretty pretty nice little buggy and it did handle the 17.5 brushless system, I mean, perfectly. It handled it extremely well. So I really don't have any complaints at all about this buggy. I, I, I think it's an amazing looking and it's a, it's a decent driving buggy. It's kind of like, I, I know I bring this up probably a lot, but it's like the Blackfoot, you know, it's, it's not, the cream of the crop when it comes to a performing truck, but it just looks so awesome doing it. And that's what this does too. Has that vintage feel. It has, although the suspension is, is quite plush. Um, it gets a little bouncy at times, but it, it does have that vintage feel, that vintage look, the realistic look of a real Volkswagen uh, dune buggy or trail buggy. It's just, it is, it is one of my favorite vehicles. So if, if you're thinking about getting it and you're not sure, I tell you what, man, just, or if you have one and you haven't done this yet, just hill climb with it. Oh my gosh, it's, it's fun. 
I know it doesn't seem like it would be that much fun, but it is. It's more fun to me than driving around the track. So, uh, well, that's the Kyosho Scorpion. Uh, I think it's a great buggy. It has that retro feel, retro look. And uh, it's definitely going to go on my shelf. And I'm going to take it out more now and do some hill climbing. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. And, uh, well, I hope you like the uh, Kyosho Scorpion. See you later.